Hi guys, it's Danielle, and today I am so excited because I got my Beautylish lucky bag, a lucky box. Um, I ordered this on the 26th, and I remember watching videos last year. I think I watched Graveyard Girls one, and I really, really wanted one, but of course, by that time, beginning of January, it was long sold out. So I signed up on their website. You can get an email, and so I set my alarm. It was January, not January. December 26th, and I think it was 11 a.m. in New Jersey or East Coast time. So I ordered it right away. I went on their website and I couldn't find it. I thought it would be like an option on the regular website. I guess not. I emailed them. They have like a chat thing. And why are my intros so long? Is, is this really, like really boring? Um, they have a chat thing and they messaged me right back with the link that I had to go to to order the lucky bag. So I did that and I asked them if it would be delivered before I went back to Japan because I still had about a week and they said no we start delivering January 3rd so I had a, I had it I had to have it oh my god see, I can't talk I had to have it sent to Japan and that cost $20 so 75 plus 20 you do the math and I think my credit card was charged for 11,000 because of stupid Trump the yen is really weak so I feel like I paid $110 for this lucky bag but I do feel lucky because I was actually home and I didn't have to chase it down <clears throat> by undelivered stuff do you know what I mean shall I just look in it already oh my god so this is the box and shall we open it Ooh. I've only ordered once from Beautylish and whenever I think of this box I just think of one thing I'm so excited because I've seen some videos and people get amazing things and I am scared because I've ordered from them once before and I've seen some of those videos people got the things that I already got and even some stuff from Sephora that I already have so I don't I hope I didn't waste my money but excited outweighs the scared so it just says here it's a Japanese tradition and there's an owl here. It says the owl brings good luck because I think it's fukuro means owl and fuku means luck. Well, how am I talking? I'm like luck. God, you think you? Have, I would just open it. I really am excited for this, but I just hope I don't get repeats of what I already have. So yeah, it is a Japanese tradition. Around January, you see a bunch of stores. They have these bags. It used to be. It really was like a like a crapshoot. You didn't know what you were getting, but I feel maybe after that, people were prying the bags open and messing it up a little. So some shops now, why does my voice shake like that? I'm so nervous here in my own living room. Um, some shops will have just like a little postcard right in the front of exactly what you get. So it's not so mysterious, but you still get a lot more than what you would get if you paid for each individual thing right shall we get on with it anyway look look all right we got a B everyone's talking about how they're gonna save this paper and yeah I'm gonna save it too they pack so nicely and they make sure nothing gets broken I love Sephora like love to love them to death and they have great customer service but they pack it in a giant box and they just stuff the paper in and one of the items that I bought got broken just because it wasn't actually wrapped it was just like like blanketed with um did you like that with um tissue paper yeah I should get on with that so tissue paper I don't know what angle I should get in here I don't know tissue paper oh no ah I have this this is the RCMA powder how could one person ever go through this much it's $12. And what is this? I'm going to just keep complaining. I really didn't want this. I think I checked this is $15. It's a clean apothecary brush shampoo. Wet brush, wet soap, swirl, and rinse. Whenever I hear apothe apothecary, I think of that Friends episode where Phoebe wants the apothecary table, but it's from Pottery Barn, which she doesn't support. I don't know. 
feels like a deodorant. Crap. Right. I don't know what this is. <gasps> what is this? Charlotte Tilbury, okay. Norman Parkinson. I feel like that sounds like a disease. Is that me? What is this? Ooh, I bet that's her. She doesn't look like a disease. It is a film star bronze and glow. I don't know if this is the one that I wanted. Is it? I don't know. It's the one people are talking about, but this looks kind of like creamy and that's not what I want. I don't want cream. Ugh. It says for beautifully sun-kissed skin, apply the creamy bronzer to any areas the sun would naturally hit. Ugh, I'm sure this is expensive. All right, all right. What's next? By Terry, I know this just because Tati and, what's his face? Jeffree Star did like a primer that was $140. So I know it's super expensive. It's a mascara. All right. I can live with that. It's got like, did I even show you anything? I don't know. I'm like in my own world. Did I show this? Ooh. This lady on a phone. And the creamy. That looks really crazy dark. And this just looks like, I don't know. So gel-like. It's a nice mirror. Okay, so we got this dark purpley. It's purple, looks blue on the screen. And this guy. Mascara Hot Croissants. I was gonna not wear makeup because I just got up. Why is this green? Shut the hell up. Who's gonna wear green eye mascara? Eye mascara. What the hell? Who wears green mascara? Looks like they hate me. It's called a green galaxy. Crap. This better not be what well, I ordered from Joe. Joe, I think that's how you say it. It's their lip cream. I like them, but oh, okay. I do not have this color. It's melon. I have like similar, similar colors, but I'm super okay with that. And they have this like ridge here. I went back, I opened my package and I played with it a little, 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 and I came back to it and then I saw this, this ridge. I'm like, oh my God, did it break? It didn't break, that's their design. You can't even see anything because my camera is not good. All right. So it's called Melon. I thought it had like a fuzz on it. So just, Typical mauve color that I like. I don't know, my lips are so dry. I think I'm gonna do another, I wanna do another video where I actually use all this. Like, let's get this out and about. <gasps> this feels some, like something good. All right, come on. Ooh, ooh! Ah, I was, I got, one of the things that I ordered from them was a Wayne Goss brush, and it was a number two, I think. It was a little bit bigger. They say to use it on everywhere. But this is what I wanted. I wanted, like, an eye one. Yeah, it's number six. Six. Who, like, why? Why can't I talk? That's what I want to ask. So, if I saw this somewhere else, oh, no, I thought it was, like, a blender brush. This, I guess it could be. It's, like... I don't know, it's like flat. I don't use brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. I just stick them on my face and hope for the best. It's like flat, but kind of fluffy. Is this just to put like on your eye? Like a, what do you call that? The eyelid brush. I'm gonna look it up. Oh no. All right, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And I got a Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. I'm going to kill you. I like how they package it nicely. Sephora, come on. All right. So I think I was looking at this yesterday and thinking I wouldn't wear any of the colors, but yet I'm excited. There's another package to it. I would be excited to get it. I just want to try it. I like how pink.
pink it is. Well, bam, look at that, so pink. All right, so I don't think I could ever wear that or that. These colors look nice. These are okay, yeah, okay, okay. So just not these, that's fine. Shall I swatch? <laughs> Do you like my getting ready to swatch? Getting my arm out. All right, let's just do the first row. I hate when people don't let you see what they're doing. Swatching, swatching. I'm gonna do a thumb swatch here. And I should have gotten more skin out here. Oh my God. It looks so easy. YouTubers make it look so easy. How, yeah, like we'll do it like that. We got a pink and a lighter pink. And like a purpley. They're like, okay. I feel like this one's streaky, but maybe it's my old lady hands getting older and drier. That looked like nothing. And then this was, ooh, I like that for like a crease shade. Can you see anything? You cannot. I don't know. I wanted to film here just so you could like see in my lap. But it's like so yellow. I don't know if it's just my wall or my sofa. They're like an off white. I don't know. Don't turn off. My screen is starting to go black, but it's just like the resting screen. All right, all right, so good. I have to find out how much that was. I'm sure it wasn't that cheap. Oh no, is that it? Oh, I was on a roll. I was liking opening all this stuff. Look, there's like a big bed of nothing else. All right. So, here is my phone. I don't want the Norman whatever. Let's look. <sighs> okay. Norman. I'll look up Norman or Norma. Why aren't you on here, Norma? You're not on here. Charlotte. Hmm. All right. So, the one that I wanted was Film Star Bronze and Glow, which is this is called, but not in the cream version. So, the non cream version is $68. Why is mine cream? Powder. Everyone talks about this one. That's so great. Can you see that? Oh, I wanted you. I'm disappointed, but I'll buy it again. Norman Parkinson. Who the hell is that? Was was she a man? Why is her name Norman? I don't know. It's not on here to buy individually. I don't think. All right, so let's say $68 so far. This idiotic green mascara, who, who? Who's gonna wear green mascara? Seriously, this is just a throwaway. Whatever, why green? Seriously, tell me one person who wears green mascara. They can have this. Oh, and we can't forget our Wayne Goss number six brush. It's made in Japan, so it's nice it came back home. You're welcome. Brush 06 is great for blending with a bit of a curve. It can blend multiple colors or pull eyeshadow out or up towards the brow. This brush is also great for applying and blending cream or liquid concealers. Mmm, and it's got four and a half stars. So yeah, this is good. This is 25. All right, we're gonna pause and I'm gonna do my math. All right, so I did my calculations in my brand new Happy Bowling book that I got over the holidays. Don't be jealous. All right, so first off, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, and that was $68, but it's not on Beautylish, but it is on Charlotte Tilbury's website. Then Joe A, which I do like. I don't have this color. That's nice. Joe A and Melon, it's 18 This one, stupid, stupid one. I'm very angry about it. It's by Terry Mascara. It is the growth booster, but seriously, it's in green. Like, yeah. I, I don't need words. You you know what I'm saying. Would you wear green? No, you would not. And I looked. Beautylish doesn't even have green. They have like a blue and a, like, a, like a dark, dark purple. Like those, they were both dark. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Fine. Beauty Killer. That's 45. The Clean Apothecary is 15. The RCMA, which I already have, 
So that's good. I just only got one repeat. It's 12. And the Wayne Goss, which I am excited for, is the cheapest of his brushes, but that's okay. It was 25 for a whopping total of 231. So I definitely got my money's worth. It was exciting. It was fun. Maybe some tears later. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.